Picture this, a time when TV shows were a portal to laughter, life lessons, and a good dose of nostalgia. If you're a true 80 seconds aficionado, chances are you remember that first moment when you stumbled upon the quirky world of the TV series Charles in Charge. The year was 1984, and a charismatic Scott Baio was about to become the face of your television screen. From the catchy theme song that you probably still hum in the shower to the hilarious escapades of Charles as he navigated the challenges of being an in-charge babysitter, this show had an undeniable charm that left an imprint on many childhoods. Maybe it was the relatable scenarios, the heartwarming family moments, or perhaps the zany antics of the characters that drew you in. Who could forget Buddy's wild schemes or the Powell family's delightful chaos? Each episode was like a new adventure, a fresh chance to laugh, and a subtle reminder of the importance of family and friendship. But enough reminiscing, let's dive into some lesser-known treasures about Charles in Charge. Did you know that the show initially aired on CBS before finding its rightful home on syndication? And while it might have started as a sitcom revolving around college life, it soon transformed into a full-on family comedy. The show wasn't just a hit on screen, and also had its fair share of interesting production trivia that might just surprise you. So, if you're ready to take a trip down memory lane, learning intriguing tidbits about the show you thought you knew inside out, then keep reading. Get ready to unearth some delightful facts that might just make you want to rewatch the series all over again. Because when it comes to Charles in charge, there's always more than meets the eye. And now, without further ado, let's unravel the curtain on those fascinating behind-the-scenes snippets that will make you appreciate this classic even more, even more. Charles in Charge is a 1984 TV series that revolves around the life of Charles, a college student who becomes a live-in babysitter for the Pembroke family. The show was created by Michael Jacobs and originally aired on CBS before moving to syndication. The titular character, played by Scott Baio, exudes a charming and responsible demeanor as he navigates the challenges of taking care of the Pembroke kids, his quirky friend Buddy, and later, the Powell family. The series combines family dynamics, humor, and life lessons, striking a balance between comedy and heartwarming moments. Iconic characters like Charles, Buddy, and the various children under Charles' care became staples of the show's appeal. The distinctive style of Charles in Charge emerges from its witty writing and the chemistry between characters. The show also touches on social issues of the time, adding depth to its seemingly lighthearted premise. The show's impact on popular culture is evident through its lasting influence. It provided Scott Baio and other cast members with a platform for their careers. Its catchy theme song and memorable catchphrases further entrenched it in the cultural consciousness. Random facts, the show underwent a cast change when it shifted from CBS to syndication, altering the dynamics and introducing new characters. The series' exploration of family dynamics and relationships resonated with a broad audience, contributing to its enduring popularity. Notably, the show tackled subjects like peer pressure and self-esteem in its episodes, going beyond the typical sitcom format. Charles in Charge is often referenced and parodied in other media, showcasing its enduring impact. Intriguing tale behind the 1984 TV series Charles in Charge a nostalgic gem from the 1980s. The TV series Charles in Charge continues to be a topic of fascination among fans. Premiering on CBS in 1984, the show took an unconventional route, later transitioning to first-run syndication in January 1987, extending its reach to a broader audience. One remarkable aspect that adds to the show's allure is the unwavering presence of actors Scott Baio and Willie Oms. These two talents became the bedrock of the series, being the only actors to grace the screen in all 126 episodes. Their on-screen chemistry and commitment undoubtedly contributed to the show's enduring popularity. An intriguing tidbit surrounding Charles in charge is the role of Charles itself. The character, portrayed by Scott Baio, was initially penned with a different actor in mind none other than Michael J. Fox. However, fate took a different turn as Fox declined the role, ultimately leading to Bayo's iconic portrayal that became synonymous with the show. Charles in Charge remains a nostalgic touchstone for those who grew up in the 80 seconds in a fascinating case study in television history. Its unconventional broadcasting journey, the unwavering presence of Bayo in arms, and the almost casting of Michael J. Fox all contribute to its status as a cultural artifact of a bygone era. 
So, as we reminisce about this classic sitcom, let's not forget the unique twists and turns that brought Charles in charge into our living rooms and our hearts. In a surprising twist for fans of the 1984 TV series Charles in Charge, the episode titled Bottle Baby unveils a comical revelation about the character Buddy. His given name is none other than Budence. Delving further into his family tree, the show introduces Buddy's sister, humorously named Bunnins, along with their parents Florence and Clarence. Adding to the whimsy, an Uncle Lawrence also makes a cameo in a later episode. These zany monikers provide an unexpected layer of charm to the series. Sandra Kearns, a notable presence in the show, gracefully graced the screen in a total of 38 episodes during its four-season run from 1987 to 1990. Kern's portrayal took center stage primarily in seasons two and three, marking her significant contribution. However, as the series neared its conclusion, Kern's appearances dwindled to just four episodes across the last two seasons, leaving a distinct mark on the show's midsection. For those adept at picking up breadcrumbs, a subtle revelation surfaces about the alma mater of Charles and Buddy. Tying together hints and clues, it appears the duo attended Rutgers University in New Brunswick, NJ, a detail cleverly interwoven throughout the series. This connection adds a touch of real-world nostalgia to the fictional lives of the characters. In the intricate tapestry of Charles in Charge, these intriguing insights shed light on the whimsical nomenclature of characters, the trajectory of Sandra Kern's involvement, and the subtle collegiate background of the titular duo. As fans continue to cherish the series, these hidden facets offer a fresh lens through which to view the beloved show from the 80 seconds. Charles in Charge, unveiling lesser known facets of the 1984 TV gem in the vibrant realm of 1980s television. Few shows captured the essence of the era quite like Charles in Charge. This sitcom, which found its stride in the charming chaos of the Pembroke household, showcased the delightful camaraderie between Scott Bayo's Charles and the ever-energetic Williams' buddy. What most viewers might not realize is that the duo had shared the screen before, in the 1982 movie Zapped. Their seamless transition from big screen to small undoubtedly contributed to the chemistry that made the show a hit. Originally gracing CBS screens in 1984, Charles in Charge embarked on a unique journey that set it apart from its contemporaries. After a year-long stint on the network, the show took an unconventional path by transitioning to first-run syndication in January 1987. This bold move allowed it to tap into a broader audience, cementing its status as a beloved household favorite for years to come. Amidst the comedic brilliance and endearing escapades, Sandra Kearns played a role that left an indelible mark. Spanning four seasons from 1987 to 1990, Kearns portrayed a character whose presence enriched the series. Despite appearing in just 38 episodes, primarily in seasons two and three, Kearns left an undeniable imprint on the show's narrative fabric. Her sporadic appearances in the series' latter years added a layer of intrigue leaving viewers both nostalgic and curious. In the ever-changing landscape of television, Charles in Charge dared to break the mold. The intertwining careers of Bayo and Oms, the show's bold switch to syndication, and Kern's enigmatic role all contribute to the tapestry of a series that has secured its place in 1980s pop culture history. So next time you catch a rerun of Charles in Charge, remember the intriguing stories behind the scenes that contributed to its enduring allure. Enduring allure. And unraveling clues, Charles in Charge's collegiate connection in the realm of 1980s sitcoms, Charles in Charge emerged as a beloved classic, with its lighthearted charm and relatable suburban tales. Behind the scenes, however, lies a fascinating twist that might have redefined the show's trajectory. The titular role of Charles, a charismatic college student turned live-in helper, was destined for Michael J. Fox, a rising star at the time. Yet, as fate would have it, Fox declined the opportunity, setting the stage for Scott Bayo to step into the role that would come to define his career. Imagine, a Fox led Charles in charge, a tantalizing prospect that was not to be. But wait, there's more. As fans of the series would know, Charles' trusty friend Buddy was an integral part of the show's dynamic. 
What might have gone unnoticed by many, however, are the subtle breadcrumbs scattered throughout the series hinting at their shared history. Put the pieces together, and a surprising revelation emerges. Charles and Buddy, those endearing characters, are Alma Mater mates, both hailing from Rutgers University in New Brunswick, and Jay. It's a detail that adds a layer of depth to their on-screen camaraderie, a connection beyond the confines of the screen. Intriguingly, the Charles-Buddy duo wasped entirely new. Before their Charles in Charge days, Scott Bayo and Williams had already shared the spotlight in the 1982 movie Zapped. Their chemistry evidently carried over, further enriching their portrayals in the TV series. It's an example of the kind of behind-the-scenes history that often colors the performances we come to cherish. Charles in Charge might be remembered for its witty banter, life lessons, and catchy theme song, but beneath the surface lies a web of connections, unfulfilled possibilities, and on-set history that only enhances its nostalgic appeal. So next time you tune in, remember the fox who didn't make it, the collegiate ties that bind, and the earlier collaboration that set the stage. In the world of television, sometimes the most captivating narratives are it confined to the script. The script. The script. The script. As we journey back through the corridors of nostalgia, the timeless 1984 TV series Charles in Charge emerges as more than just a show. It becomes a cherished chapter in the book of our lives. It's a series that whispered secrets of friendship, family dynamics, and those hilarious predicaments only Charles could find himself entangled in. As we bid adieu to this exploration of life's ups and downs with the Pembroke family, it's a reminder that we all have our own versions of Charles Hove guided us through the maze of growing up. Whether it's those quirky one-liners that became inside jokes among friends or the heartwarming lessons that left an indelible mark on our hearts, Charles in Charge isn't just a show. It's an archive of shared memories. So, dear viewer, take a moment to rekindle those old flames of laughter and sentiment. Reflect upon the moments that made you smile, the lessons that stayed with you, and the characters who felt like a part of your own family. Your connection to Charles in Charge is as unique as you are, and we'd love to hear your stories. Share your fondest memories, the episodes that brightened your gloomy days, and the characters you couldn't help but root for. Let's weave together a tapestry of reminiscences that transcends time and space, much like the show itself did. Thank you for allowing us to dive into this delightful journey down memory lane, reliving the hilarious mishaps and heartwarming wisdom that Charles in Charge brought into our lives. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, and we can't wait to hear your tales from the good old days. Warmest wishes, and here's to the magic of Charles in Charge that lives on within us, until we reminisce again.